Babe. What? I want to watch my show. Don't you have something else you can do? Like one of those car videos? No. I think Ryan died or something. Nothing called me in the month. Ugh. What? Uh, Home Depot? You guys lost your chance. Our viewers want something else. Bye. Uh, I'm so bored. Man, I wonder how many views we have. Dang, 330,000. See Home Depot? You lost your chance. Is that Ryan? Ryan, is that you? I got car parts. Whoa. Oh man, what is up YouTube? It's been a long time. But on this episode, we're gonna do some of this. Much better. All right guys, so yeah, it's been a long time. Uh, everyone got sad, of course. But you know, hey, what are you gonna do? I was sick three weeks or more. So uh, as you saw from the intro, we're gonna change out these reflectors because the Efren said this is not no Huffy. So. But they nice Huffy, bro. Lay off the Huffy. Okay, so I'd show you this part number, but it's, stay right there. It's this. It's the same part number as the reflectors. Uh, what they have done is open this up Put a full LED panel inside with lights, reused them, they're good to go. Where did I get this? David over at the K8 Optima store. Uh, sent them to me early. He did send them to me like about a month ago, but I got sick right after. So we haven't had any time to do this. So I'm finally getting around to it. I don't think anybody has done it yet. Um, we did do an install on one, like you saw from the intro. So when we do this for you, we can run through it a lot quicker. As you see, when we started, we had light. Now we don't, but I don't want my wife driving around with half a light working. You know, it's kind of ghetto. So, so I'll do that. So we got it. Parts here. He sent them to me. K8stingerstore.com. Check it out. Uh, if you don't see them, ask David for them. They'll get them to you. But the mystery is that we have figured out that now you don't have to is what wires does what. So we did the hard part for you. Now you can just buy it, hook them up. Follow our steps you want. If you don't, don't really care. They work for us. Let's see what happens. You forgot the other mystery. What's that? How to get the cables through the hole. Oh, that's uh, that's a simple. We'll show you later. That's a <laughs> that's a trade secret. But first, um, I don't know if you can see this. We're gonna fight with lights tonight, guys. We're a little sorry, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Actually, perfect. Good. Okay. Little panel here. How do you take it off? Literally, the instruction, the instructions, page 7-77. The manual is wonderful. Use it, guys. It has stuff you wouldn't think of. But really, it actually shows you putting a screwdriver back here. I would not recommend that. I just, this part's rubbery, a little soft. Get it, pop it out. You're done. Just work it around. Got clips. Boom. Free. Okay. Set that aside. Do not lose it. Step two. One screw right here. Can I see it? And the manual's a little more light. But you got it? It's showing up? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got one here. And then we got one in here. I don't know if you can see that one. All right. Got it? So you got this one this one. Two. Channel two. Right in there. You'll see it. It's obvious. And you got one here. All right. So you two screws. So undo those. It will pull out a little bit. And then you can disconnect the plug. So what we're going to do, we're going to shut off the camera, get this done. There's no sense of showing you this. Um, this one, or both of them, are 10 millimeter or Phillips. Obviously, this one you can use a Phillips screwdriver. This one, you need the 10 millimeter small wrench. And uh, when I mean small, I mean like tiny, small, 10 millimeter. So we'll get this out and then we'll come back to you here in a second. It's my Korean hands. Okay, so that one's loose. Don't worry about pulling it completely out yet. You'll need your 10 millimeter again later. Uh, fill up set on that one we talked about. So yeah, guys, I apologize. It's been a long time. I run my own business, so I gotta take care of myself first. And my business before YouTube, sorry. What pieces do the videos come first? Oh yeah, once you get the two screws out, straight back. Straight back. Work it a little bit. Boom. Now. 
These screws don't be like Efren and I forget. We, I put them in a safe place, but they completely forgot where the safe place was. Take the truth, bro. You lost them. No, they weren't lost. <laughs> they were waiting for us. We just forgot where I put them. So I usually just put screws in like a box, stab them through. He's like, bro, where'd you put the screws? I'm like, what screws? Yeah, you should have seen it. We're hunting around. I'll take a 10 minutes to find them. I don't know if you can see this or not. Probably not because I'm going to cover it. There's a cable here. All right, so just pinch it, pull. There's no light. It's okay. All right. So real simple. Just unplug it. Get the light out of the way because you don't need it for now. You'll need it later. All right. So next step. This is what we did. You can do whatever kind of wiring management you want to do, okay? You don't have to follow my steps. I'm going to tell you what wires to use. If you want to copy what we do, like I said earlier, go ahead. Um, what I did though, get this, I got some, uh, what do you call it, like shrink, shrink wrap, wire shrink wrap on this. So you want to undo this all the way back so you can get to all the wires here. So it's got a couple pieces of tape at the top here. Once you get that off, you can get to the shrink wrap part. And I just, I pretty much just cut mine all the way off here. So do not cut your wires, I repeat. Do not cut your wires. Let's see if we get a little more light. There you go. Yeah, we started this and hoped, hoping we'd be done by 8 o'clock, but uh, what time is it after? A little after 8. Not too bad. A tad right? bit after 8. Tad shy, yeah. We only started at 4. But it did take us like 2 hours to do that <laughs> intro, so you guys better appreciate that. Yeah, that's quality work right there. High quality. H2O. Expecting calls after that. I don't think Home Depot's going to call us anymore. I'll take care of that, bro. <laughs> We've got some good content coming up, though. Yeah. So stay tuned for upcoming videos also. I got some more parts uh, actually on my kitchen table right now. My wife would love them for those parts to be in the car, not on the dinner table. But hey. You mean you like sharing a meal with this part? I don't mind it. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag race car, like whatever you want to hashtag. Okay. Oh. All right. So let's get this out of here. Remember, do not cut any wires. Be careful what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> they tricked us. All right, guys. Um, well, the color wires on that side are different colors than the wires on this side. We're going to actually have to re-diagnose them now again, like we did the other side. All right, well, give us a few minutes. We'll be back. So we figured it out real quick, record time. But uh, what you use, you get one of these at O'Reilly's, uh, low-voltage, 12-volt electrical tester. Clip this puppy into the uh, ground. When you're doing it, if you want to do it yourself, there's two bolts coming off of the framework. You can't see them. You clip that to there, and you get somebody in the car and start stepping on the the brakes, turn signals, whatever. And you can see you can you can poke this right into each holes, each of the uh, uh, connector here pins. And if you touch the metal inside, uh, I'm sure it's. A, and we're just going over this quickly in case you want to do it. But you just put it in there. As soon as this lights up. You know that's your right wire so we figured it out it is different on both sides of the car i'm going to run down it right now with you and later we'll put it in the description but the driver's side lights brown is brake green and black are your running which is your 50 percent lights yellow sorry blue brown is your left uh or your signal so blue brown signal, green black running, brown brake, and you're gonna run it to the ground. Uh, what we did, we'll show you later how we ran it to the ground. But we ran it to one of those two bolts there. So we cut. I don't know how to figure out a ground wire. So if you know how to, hey, post it and let us know. But all right, so that's the driver's side, passenger side. As repeats, the brake is pink wire, running light is brown and black blinding me mm -hmm. and uh, white and orange is and I'm tired because I wrote white and orange is white and orange white and orange white is your orange turn, turn signal turn. <laughs> tired been here a while <laughs> literally I wrote white orange is white orange so you got it you didn't lie the That's white true. orange cable is white and orange true true and now we have the part here which uh, we'll show you real quick So, as you can see, uh, it looks like somebody had chewed the crap out of it. But what they did, they had melted this open. So they'd open this for you, put the LED board inside, and resealed it up. So, for the most part, 
I think it is pretty waterproof. I may actually add some silicone right here. The other one was sealed up completely. This one has a little bit of a gap. So double check that. You may want to uh, seal it up because it's going to be down below. So it may get some splash back. So. And then what you got here is your wiring. Okay. Pretty straightforward. I don't tangle it up here. Oh my. It's been a long night, guys. Long night. Hopefully, next time when we do a new video, uh, we'll be at my house. I have been uh, doing some construction on my backyard. So, basically, kind of created, I poured some concrete. So, we've got an area to actually set up now. I have a toolbox, everything ready to go. So, make things much simpler. So, and the, uh, the next video should be a pretty good install. So, we'll need plenty of tools. But, all right. As you see, we've got the little circuit board here. This is the board that does all the magic does the lights, the signals, the brakes, everything. It does it for you and you just got two of them running here. Now, what we had to do was cut these two because there's no way to fish these through at all. So you have to cut them, you have to splice them. I wish they would have came with a connector from the guys who made this. I mean, obviously they had the wires running. So maybe if you guys make more, cut it, put a connector, maybe like a one clip connector. So when we get it here, we can snap it together and it's good, a waterproof one whatever but um so we have to cut that fish this down and get them to each other so that'll be the next few steps here um is that is the next step okay well, what we do need to do is get the ground plug on here as well and we'll show you that so okay we're just going to start going through all the steps now and uh we'll get going here one by one for you and film it so you know how to do this okay so on the new wires here we've got uh, red is brake, black is ground, blue is running, yellow is turn signal. So. These will all be in the description. So red, yellow, black, blue. All right. Black is ground. So what I like, this is what we determined to do. Strip the wire here. And we actually ran it through this uh, clip, and we're going to put it around the bolt that's in here that's grounded to the frame. Uh, it will work. The bolts in there. You can yeah. see it as you open up that area. There's it's, two bolts next to each other. Yeah, it's um I think forget those can I see it? Oh there we go. Those two down there. So right there, right see that there. one? And or the one, one right next to the left. That's the one we went into, one on the one in the middle. Either one would there. work, but that one would work right there. That's, yeah. so that's what we're gonna connect it to. That is also a ten millimeter, so you got a ten millimeter. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but mm. <laughs> mine's a ten millimeter. No, what would you say your mom's a ten millimeter? <laughs> mom's a ten millimeter. Oh, it's been a long night. We start talking crazy. Mm -hmm. Starting the jokes back. Okay, when making connections like this that aren't the prettiest, I like to put uh, electrical tape around them. Just make everything a little more watertight. So, go ahead and do that. And then uh, we'll start to get that into place, and then we'll get right back to here in a second. Okay, so what he's doing right now is this is the light that came off the left side. This notch right there that's sticking out has a Phillips screw underneath. So what you need to do is remove the Phillips screw first. Then you clip right here. Hey, mom. <laughs> oh, and the clip God. in the middle with some pliers, you should be able to squeeze the clip and push it through. No, don't. Don't even worry about this dumb clip. I just figured it out. Okay, don't worry about the clip anymore. We'll do one quick squeeze to kind of kind of make it pinch in. So basically, if you can get some pliers, in. we can't show you on camera. Literally, it's above the exhaust in it, like a tiny little cavity. There's no way to show you at all with the camera. Even a GoPro might be able to, but you still have a little trouble. All right, so when you're up there, pinch it. Basically, deform them. All right, just don't worry about it. You're not gonna need them. I don't think. Whatever. Then once you get the screw out. Uh, as it's in there, take this screwdriver, put it right back in the socket, push, pops right out, and then you slip it out. Done. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we did the hard part for you trying to figure it out. You can get in there and work, you do need some light. It's a pain in the butt, so just head up. Pop one right there. Keep this screw, it's gotta go back in the new one. Don't lose it. Don't lose any screws. Oh, yeah, any of them. And what it does is it re-threads itself. You're not gonna see any threads, that's why we actually didn't think there was a screw holding it in place. We thought it was just like a little uh, rod sticking out that it guided it. Nope, it actually had a screw and it's hard to see, but when you're in there, look for it, you'll find it. It's there. Okay, so again, screw. Keep looking at this. Okay, so we've got the um, we've got the black wire prepped. We've got the ground connection on it. Don't even comment on this. Don't, I, I don't want to hear it. What do you mean? That's a masterpiece right there. Hey, there it is. Don't give me no crap about the it. The Mona Lisa of connection. Right. It works, doesn't it? If it fails, I'll tell you it fails down the road. And I, I'll, I'll let you know, but the other one worked, so we're going with it. Okay. 
So in order to make this work, you have to get these wires all the way down here. There's no way to fish them through the gap. It's not big enough. You have to cut these wires now. So, I don't know, about eight inches or so, just cut them. What I suggest is while you're outside the car, prep these and get them ready to be plugged back in with the new uh, connector. We're using, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not an electrical guy, so I don't know the terms of these uh, pieces, these parts, but um, maybe it's called, I don't know what it's called. You know any electrical stuff ever? Oh, I gotta Why do I even tell you? Bro, I'm gonna make excellent jokes someday. <laughs> Alright, so. Yep, you're watching a guy strip some wires. That's what you're doing right now. There's gotta be something else better you could be doing. Seriously. Do something with your life. Alright, repeat steps to this one. So, I'll do that. Take a second. You need a, you need a break there, Heffern? You good? Can I take a break, monster? Nope. <laughs> okay. Get them prepped. Uh, I'll show you the connection I use. I'll put that on real quick. Now I'm going to call that. What do you think it's called? Suggestion. That is. Let me see it. Oh gosh. Uh, I have no idea. I can't even guess. It's a butt joint. A butt, <laughs> butt, 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 butt connector. That's what's called. A butt joint. Halfway through. You never use these before, they're color coded for these parts, so red, might have the red one, and squeeze. Yeah, somebody just can say that. Alright, so we can actually get this pop back in, right? Because we don't need it anymore. Okay, mm. so once you get that ready, you can go ahead. Oh. Take off the old You one? might want to take the old one out. Eh, keep them, you never know, you might need them. Actually, you know what? I always say keep your old parts, so I'll just keep them. Oh, that's. Let's watch this today. Ooh, rocks and pebbles, bro. You just got cut. Mm mm. Very good. Alright, so you can, you can fish them right through here. You want to show them why we had to cut it? Can we get the light in there? Uh, well, I just don't have no room. That's, that's, oh. Yeah, they, they're gonna... They weren't... Like, the guy sent the part. It was just a tiny hole. Yeah, I don't know why they came connected. Uh, I, if you guys watching this in manufacture, if you think you have a way to put a waterproof quick connect that once you connect it, it's permanent, I would say add that. Otherwise, everybody has to cut those wires again. So you're gonna have to I cut some cuts and cuts. I don't know how that their mind when they made that part. Nah, no idea. It's just... Oh, that's right, yeah. Okay, so once you get that back in place, it will snap in, and then remember to put the screw back in later, so... Okay, now what we're going to do is show you our fancy, fancy way of getting the wires down. Or up. Up, right, the laser. You got right there, MacGyver? Coat hanger, baby. I look at my trick in the back one. Where'd you run it through? Right through. You, you should be able to see the light come straight Yeah, that is. You look right through the air. Kind of holes all through this car. You should be able to see the light. Okay. Just run the, the old hanger trick. Get it down there. What effort? How do you get it back up? Go on, it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of tape. Yeah, that's right. The coat hanger has been used for so many things. The guy that invented it was like, hey, you can use it to open a car. Yeah. You need a fish wire. Ta-da! And there it is. There for a second. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go actually back underneath, connect those two wires together, the red and the black, and uh, then come back up and everything left is up top here. So and I'm going to take a break. Yeah, everyone's going to take a break. See you in a second. Okay, so we're gonna show you. So we got the wire. Everything's done down below. Uh, we got the wires pulled through, obviously. We got the uh, black, yellow, blue, yellow, red, and we got the black wire over here going to the ground. You gotta check this out. That's the terminal we showed you. Attaches to there. As usual, 10 millimeter. Mm -hmm. uh oh. Is it in focus? Mm -hmm. okay, so that's the one. So we're gonna tighten that down, and then we'll get back to the fun part, splicing these together real quick. All right. See you soon. Okay, so we got the uh, ground wire tied in there, good, strong. Um, now we have to make the connection between the two wires here, uh, between the new lights and the existing uh, tail lights here. Now, what I'm using is quick splice assortment. I had to get two packs because it only came with, um, uh, let's see, that would be one, two, three. Yeah, it only came with five of the size I need, which is the pink size, because I believe the wire is 22 gauge, 24, 22 gauge, or t must be 22, yeah. So we got these. We're going to tie them into this here. Should be it. Should be real quick. So we'll, uh, we'll film this whole thing. All right, so passenger side car. Again, brake lights is the pink wire. Our brake light wire is red. So red wire here to the pink wire here. Can you see that? Pink wire? No. Pink wire, okay? Solid pink. All right. These are real simple to use. If you, now, um, if you don't want to use them, solder it. That's the only other option. But um, they're real simple. You put your new wire in the slot and it has a, has a stopping point. And then you wrap the other section right around your existing wire. So I'm gonna double check. 
you don't want to mess this up. The pink is for brake on the passenger side, and the red wire here is for your connector. So, once you get it in, start to squeeze those parts together. You'll hear they'll start clicking. And once you get them somewhat in, uh, you can take a wrench, just any wrench, to finish it off here. Do a quick check, make sure it does not pull out. You don't want it to pull out, it's a bad thing. <laughs> no joke there. All right, so is this running light? Brown with black, okay. And your running light on your new light is blue. So, all right, that's fine. Brown with black, right there. Main brown wire with a black strip, to show up at all. This is the car. All right, find focus. You can't get the side, but you see the brown wire. So, so, uh, you got enough light? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Alright. Sorry, not time. I already told you. Get what you get. Mm. Alright. Blue wire. Get it in place. Get your brown and black in place here. You have enough light? That seems awfully low. Back in, you'll see. Alright. Sometimes it's a little tricky. Just gotta play it a little bit. Man, this one's fighting me. Okay, there we go. Blue wire in. Okay. Yellow. What was yellow? White and orange. Yeah, it's turn mm -hmm. signal. That's right. That's right. Already white, and orange, white and orange. White and orange is white and orange, and yellow is your turn signal. So, it's going to be our first t-shirt. If you scroll through, yeah, white and orange is white and orange. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It could be just because I'm tired. Things get funnier when you're tired. All good. Home stretch. Home stretch. Everyone really wants me out of his house. I've been here all day. He doesn't let me eat them for. I didn't force you. I never told you enough. That is true. Make me look like a slave driver. Alright. Pre test? Do a quick test? Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna do a quick test. We'll be back to you. We're not gonna film it. We're gonna film everything else later. You don't need to see this. Alright. Okay. So, these wires here, there's a lot of extra, so zip tie it up. Nice little tiny zip tie. Tuck it down. Should be safe. And all this, um, I prefer to keep it uh, wrapped up tight. You don't want anything moving around on you, so let's go ahead. There's probably some guys who know how to wire up cars that are just dying laughing right now at us, so. But I don't see them making videos. You're gonna make videos on how to wrap wires. <laughs> if you did it right, you shouldn't have to worry about ever messing with them again, so, yeah. You'll find out. Oh yeah, we did do a pre-test and they do work, so. Test it before you do this part. Make sure everything's good to go, they're all working. Put your light bulb back in place. Plug in the connector. Back in. And everything should stay out of the way if you push it back in place. Again, line it up and straight back. Now, we got those two screws we showed you. The one here. You, um, as you're doing it, don't fully tighten this one. Get it close. So you still got a little bit of play. And then get this one in because you can adjust everything. So you want to make sure that you get your alignment back up. So, and what am I, I thought I gained like half an inch. Alright, get in there. This is a fun one. I'm telling you, man. Tiny hands. 
Alright. And the old 10 millimeter. So I'm gonna do this for the next uh, 10 minutes and we'll get right back to you. Okay, so everything's buttoned back up. We got the light back into place. The two screws connected. Everything's fine, looks good. The final part is get this little plate back in here. It takes some finagling, so kind of just work with it so you can get it. It's, it's not the easiest thing, but it's, you know, it can, it'll go. If it's not flush, that's not right. Watch and learn. Learn by his mistake. Learn by watching me. Oh, are the low light died? It's telling us something. Just trying to look at the gaps. Is that about right? I didn't see. Is that right? Let's see over here. Oh, yeah. just look there. Okay, it was in. As long as it's smooth here. Well, you'll, you'll tell if it's bad, so. Alright. Look at that. Thing of perfection. We'll, uh, well, we'll do, we'll end with a couple shots here. Um, thank you guys, though, for subscribing. Hey, I didn't ask for no subscribers, you guys. If you like what you see, subscribe. If not, I don't care. Hey, thanks for the last month of support, too. I know we didn't upload anything, but yeah, you supported us, I think. Now, you guys kept commenting and everything, kept subscribing. I think last month we got 751, what, uh, uh, YouTube told me we had, so that's good. A lot of views as well. So, like I said, I know it's been a while, but we got a lot more videos coming. Some that aren't DIY, so uh, more kind of like question and answer style ones. So, you know, five things I hate, five things I like. Do some other couple little cool videos. So, but uh, for now, check out the bottom. They should flash. If not, oh, it's gonna be a long night. They should light up with the with the lights. Oh, why didn't they light up? Uh oh. No lights on. Well, that's a concern. Yeah, they're both working. Okay. You want to turn on the car? Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. The lights inside were off, so I think that affected all of it. But. Yeah, so we got everything. Looks good. We'll do a couple little final ending shots. And again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Leave your comments. Uh, any last words, Ephraim? Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. All right. We we'll got some next good time. stuff coming, guys. So yeah. Stay tuned. Air intake, finally. Hey, how about that one? I've been promising that for like two months. Mm -hmm. But hey, it's it's uh, we live in California, so that's kind of my fault. It had to be rerouted throughout the entire world just to get back to here. So it's here. We'll do it. So we'll end with some shots and uh, we'll see you guys later. Good luck. Alright. Cool. Till next time, guys. See you later.